right, everyone, we did it. One minute, let me fix the lighting. We did it. It's my goal for my 26th year to be able to at least mostly jog a 5K. And luckily the neighborhood that we're in with the jogging trail, they have a virtual 5K going on right now because of social distancing. So they have signs up as markers so I can see where a 5K is on the trail and where the turnaround point is. It's so, um, it's 8.44 now. We left the apartment complex at 7.37 or 57, I can't remember. So I think it's been a little over an hour since I loaded everyone up in the car. I don't know, I should have timed it once I got on the trail, but I didn't think of it. But I got a good workout in and I'm feeling stronger. That sounds cheesy. Um, it's definitely a lot harder when I'm pushing the kids because I'm pretty sure I combined with the stroller weight that's like over 50 pounds. But I'm doing my best. I'm glad that we did it and we're gonna go back home and eat some breakfast. Bible. Banana. Okay everyone, it is later in the afternoon. I have showered, I've got makeup on. I just finished filming the video for this week for the OnlyFans and Patreon exclusive content, story time videos. Oh my gosh, that's a mouthful to say. I'm actually finishing editing, so the afternoon's going well. Both the kids are napping. And I am crossing my fingers and praying and doing a friggin rain dance hoping that my internet modem shows up today It has been over a week since I called the internet company and they sent it out supposedly. I don't know I don't know where it is um, I might call them right now and see if I can expect it today But I'm hoping that I can get this video uploaded tomorrow so we can do only fan and patreon videos every Wednesday and just have that schedule going but Otherwise, I'm a little bit stressed about the internet situation, if you guys can't tell. Processing. So that means it hasn't shipped yet? Huh. But I'm really guess it's gonna ship by the end of this week. At the end of this week? I legitimately feel like crying. <laughs> Do you know how hard it is for someone who works on the internet and works from home to work on the internet and work from home when they don't have internet? <laughs> it's been... I called them on the 17th to have this shipped out and the lady just told me, I don't know if I'm including it in the video or not, she told me I should expect it to ship by the end of this week, maybe. Like it hasn't even shipped, like they're still processing just getting the modem and router shipped to me. And just so you guys know, like this is one of the only internet companies in the area that services my apartment, so I'm literally out of luck. Um, I'm just gonna have to continue driving to the park and using the hotspot on my phone Maybe sit in a Starbucks parking lot things would be different very different if we weren't all Like quarantining with like the pandemic and everything I and my camera just died while I was talking to you guys, but I'm very very unhappy <laughs> You can't tell because I'm smiling I'm still so grateful for like the apartment and you guys and just everything it's just internet has been the only major setback the last couple days. I am just, my life is gonna be so much easier when I can actually work from home. And it wouldn't be that big of a deal if it were just me, but I also have to like work around the kids' schedules when I can go sit for a couple hours in a spot where I have phone service. I'm just, that's all I have to say about that. Hello everyone, it is the next day. It is 7 a.m. We are sitting in a parking lot uploading videos. It's actually raining outside, so we can't even walk the stroller on the trail to keep the kids entertained. So I'm sitting in between the seats. Stella's got her tablet. Five Mo has Daniel Tiger, which he's actually getting bored of already. I just gotta keep this up for like two hours we have got six minutes left on this upload but five could not last another second in his car seat so we are sitting in the trunk of the van when I got a van I was so excited for the extra storage space for strollers and groceries I did not picture myself using it in this way but I mean whatever works I'm pretty sure that anyone who was walking past while five was throwing his fit thought that there was a baby alone in the car because I um, was not sitting in the front seat. I was sitting in between the two seats here. So I'm really lucky that no one's called cops yet to um, come figure out if there's children locked in my van, but that would just be the icing on the cake for today, wouldn't it? I look like I live in my van. 
If you were wondering if I have some sort of trick for getting both the kids inside in the pouring rain without completely drenching us, I don't. But you're a pretty good sport, aren't you? You are very good in the car. Thank you for helping mommy. Thank you. Okay, I changed into the comfiest bathrobe of all time. My toast is now ready. And then I'm gonna make myself a second cup of coffee today because I feel like I deserve it. What are you asking for? Puppy dog. I don't have a puppy dog. Puppy dog? Who told you to ask for a puppy dog? dog. No dog, there's no dog in here. Dog. My, my friend Jackie, when she visited when we first moved in, um, she brought her dog and now Stella is obsessed with puppy dog and she's looking for it in the apartment. And now she's singing Bingo was his name out because that's what she called the puppy dog. Honey, mommy can't handle a puppy dog. Lunch time at the Brewer Fortress. Fivel's having a strawberry. Stella is having chicken nuggets and watermelon. I need to find a dining room table. I actually just went ahead and hung the letter board over the little mail bin that we put up before. My friend Jackie actually a week ago told me that I should do that, but I didn't think that it would fit there and I just now tried it. But I think it looks really cute. Let me back up so you can actually see this little window area, how it's coming along. So we've got the letter board and then we've got the mail and like my planner and stuff. This is a bit of a mess right now because I've got bills and stuff in there too. And then the coat hooks. I need to get a doormat still. I need to get some place to put our shoes. And I'm working on getting more plants and decorative stuff to go along this ledge, but it's a work in progress. Do you need help, bud? Can you say help, please? Stella. Oh, I guess she doesn't need help. She's just going over to the chair. <laughs> I just washed my face. I made sure to put Fievel in the background here so you guys have something cute to look at. But I'm gonna end, to, is he crawling? Are you crawling right now? Um, come here, come on. Okay, I was like, is this really the first time he's going to crawl? Anyway, I wanted to, are you crawling? Come here, buddy. Come on! Can you get this hair clip? Oh, you trickster! Okay. So long as I don't miss his first time crawling. I don't mind if you guys get it. Okay, he's going down on his belly. Okay, false alarm's over, right? You're so tricky! You're so tricky! Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna end today's video here. I know we haven't done much today. Oh my gosh, this little stinker crawls. <laughs> we haven't done much today. It's been a rainy day as you guys saw and I was waiting for several packages which brings me to my final point and I don't know how I'm going to word this without possibly offending someone which is the last thing that I want to do. But thank you guys so much for everything you've sent off the housewarming registry. Please stop sending me things. I cannot turn off the registry without, I cannot turn off the registry, like completely delete it without losing all of the tracking information and any possibility of making returns if something shows up damaged or something ends up being damaged when I try to use it or something. So I can't delete the registry, but it's still, it's like privated. I'm deleting the links out of as many videos as I can find them on. Um, so if you do stumble upon a link, please do not send me anything. There's nothing else that can be sent off of it, but people are still finding ways because they are so amazing and too generous to send me things that I didn't even register for, which is 
I am not complaining at all. I would never ever complain about someone giving me a gift. Um, you guys have been so, so, so thankful, so thankful, so helpful and amazing and I can't thank you enough, but please stop sending me things. You've been too amazing. You're awesome. I'm deleting the house registries out of all of the descriptions under my videos and once everything gets here and I don't need the tracking information anymore, I'm going to delete the registry completely. I just hope you guys understand the situation that I'm in. The unbelievable situation that I can't believe I'm in that people are giving me too much love. Um, but hopefully you guys understand. Thank you guys so much for watching and supporting me and being as amazing as you are. We love you. We love you. He just doesn't know how to say it yet. And we will see you in tomorrow's video. Or the next video. I don't know anymore because I don't know when we're getting internet. And when we're going to go sit in the parking lot to upload. Love you guys and we will see you soon. I said see you soon, not cereals. Oh, crazy toddlers.